21 questions atheists apparently can't ask, can't answer. Part 3. <clears throat> this question is question number 10. If the world is millions of years old, why is it only 2,000? No. You did not ask that. You did not. No. Why is it two, only 2008? Let's imagine it is 2016 right now. Oh my god, did I change time? <laughs> okay, um, actually, it's 2016 because in the 1500s, the Catholic Church, which was in charge of the calendar at that time, figured out that its equations about the calendar were wrong because they were missing 10 minutes every year. So, time was adjusted. And actually, America needed 200 years to adjust their calendar by a few days. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. The years used to end in March. They used to end in March. Yes. And, by the way, Valentine's Day, you know, February the 14th, actually used to be Lupercalia. Lupercalia is a 1,200-year, is a festival of Rome that, for 1,200 years, was a festival of Rome. One month before Julius Caesar was killed, there was this embarrassing incident during a Lupercalia celebration where, uh, what's his face, uh, that guy who replaced him with Cleopatra, Mark Anthony, I think it was Mark Anthony, tried to put a crown on his head. That is, that actually, Rome's most cherished tradition likely responsible for why Julius Caesar is dead. And, surprisingly, Christmas, last month of the year. Just saying, just putting it out there. Uh, it's 2016 because calendars. That's why. You know, it's 1400 and something, according to the Islamic calendar. Oh, and by the way, if you're anti-Muslim, and you're afraid of the Muslims, those horrible, horrible Muslims! <laughs> um, yeah, uh, most of the suicide bombers in, and this is true, most of the suicide bombers over the last 20 years, I think it was 20, I think it was 20, there's a research paper on it, most of the suicide bombers in the last 20 years were secular, blew themselves up because of regional conflicts, like that time, a, a Buddhist monk, I think it was, or someone protesting Vietnam, set himself on fire in the Pentagon. That's very weird. Uh, regional conflict problem. So, most of them are secular. And from the ones that are religious, only about for a Muslim. Just putting out there. Uh, 11. If I throw dirt up in the air, what are the odds that it will come down in the form of a living man? I'm going to guess... 6 to the power of 84 plus 74 plus 74 plus 74 plus 74 plus 74 plus 16. Though I could be wrong. Dumbass. Didn't I already answer that question? No, I, I didn't already answer that question. Okay. Humanity was, life was formed by lightning and meteor strikes and odds. And those odds are not astronomical. The jar was not hit by lightning. The jar was not hit by, by lightning repeatedly, creating the most basic building blocks of life. The jar was not then hit by meteor showers, repeatedly creating more complicated building blocks of life. The jar was not the size of a planet's surface. The jar was not uh, the size of a planet's surface. A planet's surface contains a lot of tiny tiny pieces of space that on a molecular scale are like entire universes. One drop of blood contains a hundred million red blood cells. Red blood cells don't even contain DNA. Just putting it out there, there's stuff in blood that contains DNA, but red blood cells don't. Who cares? M molecules are very, very tiny and interact with each other millions if not billions of times a day. A day. We're talking about millions of years for those 100 connections to have formed a simple type of life. Simple particle of life. 
millions of years, billions of times per day, times millions of years, millions of times a day for every millimeter, let's say millimeter. If you take Russia and Germany, no, Russia, just Russia, that's nine million square kilometers. It's a big fucking planet. It's not that unreasonable. Dumbass.